City of Mission Viejo, California at Lake Mission Viejo and I plan on spending as much time as possible with my toes in the sand and as less time behind the grill. So today's recipe is all about simple delicious flavor. So what we're making today is a banana leaf wrapped halibut and clam in a foil packet. It's gonna knock your socks off. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, I promised you some easy cooking today and that's exactly what we're gonna do. So here's what we're gonna be working with today. Some Alaskan halibut. I cut this about four ounce piece from a larger pound and a half piece that I bought from my fishmonger. We're gonna use a few cherry stone clams. I like cherry stone because they have really great flavor. I like their size and they work really well with this recipe when we wrap it up into the parchment paper. I've got some fresh thyme from my garden. Always smells good, always is fantastic. I've got a few lemons. I'm actually just gonna slice these lightly and put them on top of the rest of our recipe. I've got a little bit of olive oil. It's a really cute baby bottle that I like to bring along with me when I travel. And I've got a little bit of a salt and pepper, sea salt and black pepper mix here that I'm going to add to the fish. Now, the one thing you might be questioning me about is our banana leaf. And this is what a banana leaf looks like. I've got a few of them here kind of tucked together. And you buy these typically frozen. This is the banana leaf. It smells like a really beautiful cup of green tea or oolong tea actually. Smells fantastic. What this is going to do is help protect our fish when we put it on the grill, but also impart some really wonderful flavor. You'll see in a second. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, let's get started. Here's what you're gonna need to start with. You're gonna need to take a piece of foil and double it up so that it matches roughly the size of your banana leaf, just like this. Okay, and then what I have here is that it is doubled up and folded. And you want heavy duty foil for this recipe so that it doesn't leak or burn through. So let's get started. Let's take our, I'm gonna trap that down because it's a little bit windy. I'm actually gonna take one of the more square pieces that I cut a little earlier, put this over to the side, and we're gonna just lay this flat onto our foil. If it doesn't fit perfectly, go ahead and fold it over, but this should work nicely. Next thing we're going to do is add our fish right here to the center. We're going to add a couple of sprigs of thyme as needed. We're going to add some slices of lemon, really thinly sli sliced pieces. Right on top here, I'm going to add in our clams to the side. I'm going to use three in this case. A little bit of our sea salt and a little bit of our olive oil. And we're good to go with this. Now here is the most important part, making sure this is sealed properly so that it doesn't leak. What we're basically doing is steaming this food inside of this wrapper. So we're gonna fold it over, give it a good seal. Just like that. And add this to the grill. I can't define. keep our fish on the grill for about six to seven minutes and that's because we don't want to overcook this recipe. Halibut has a very sumptuous delicious flavor and texture and if you overcook it it becomes dry it becomes flaky and it's sometimes unpalatable. So we're gonna cook this for six or seven minutes just until the clamps open then we're gonna allow the residual heat from the foil packet to cook the fish as needed. As long as the clams are done we're gonna be golden. Lunch is served and I can't wait to dive in. So what we have here is our banana leaf wrapped halibut and clams with the foil packet. 
really easy, really simple to put together, and uber delicious. Now, I've been nibbling on this, but I wanna give you my blow by blow. So give me one second. Mm-hmm. This is fantastic, oh my gosh. Okay, here's why. So the halibut is very succulent, really flavorful, really juicy, has really good mouthfeel, okay? It's scented really nicely with this banana leaf, which is fantastic. I mentioned earlier that the banana leaf is sort of like a tea scent or an earthy scent, and it's fantastic. It really gives some character to this halibut. Now, in terms of these clams, I'm gonna grab one of these. I anticipate this being just as fabulous. Mm-hmm, and I was right. <laughs> this is so good. Wow, the clam is a little bit salty, a little bit, um, ocean-like in flavor, it's really delicious. Again, this banana leaf is really working wonders for an overall sort of aroma coming from this foil packet. Now, you may have noticed earlier in the shot before that the banana leaf was burned a little bit, and that's actually proof that the banana leaf helps protect the fish from the fire. Regardless of how thick your foil is, there are times when you're gonna uh, suscept your fish to being burned, and foil is a really great way of um, doing that, but sometimes you need a little bit more support. So I wanna encourage you to make this recipe at home or here in the great outdoors. I'm gonna finish my lunch and go stick my toes in the sand. For The Posh Pescatarian, I'm Stephanie, bon appetit. Oh yeah, huh? well, I swear that I